hello, and thank you so much for joining us for our Made in Texas interview series. May and Emma, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks so much for having us. I'm so happy to do a Texas Film Commission thing. Likewise. (laughs) Well, why don't we start with you just telling our audience um, a bit about the story itself. In Between Girl is about a high schooler named Angie Chen, um, who lives in Galveston, Texas. And she's kind of going through a rough time. Her parents have gotten divorced. And to kind of cope with that, she ends up fooling around with this very popular boy named Liam. But things get complicated because Liam has a girlfriend and she has to learn how to contend with that. And Emma and I had a lot of conversations about the character, um, like about a year before um, Emma was great at improv so I was able to incorporate some of her improv into the script and kind of really kind of tailor it for her and also um, the actor who plays Liam William Magnuson. Awesome. Well, can you guys tell us a little bit about the casting process? I was doing the short film at Creative Action and May had sent a casting call poster out to a lot of high school theater theater teachers in Austin. And I saw the poster on my theater department's Facebook page. So I was in the middle of writing an email to May when I got an email from May asking me to audition and I, I don't know yeah ser- serendipity it's yeah. kismet yeah it was like I feel like that I don't know there were a lot of happy accidents on this film that was like a huge plot point in the journey of making in between girl yeah absolutely you guys have I mean the writing's so funny I mean you have such great comedic timing do you do comedy do you do any improv or is that just come kind of natural thank you so much it's very kind of you no I I mean, I was still in, I was in my, going into my senior year of high school when we shot this movie. I I barely had any, any acting training of any kind. So um, that means a lot to hear. Thank you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, it, they just made it so easy. Fantastic. And I think, yeah, I think that, that, that style of, of shooting the movie really helped to, to just make everything flow so yeah. easily. The architecture and the colors in Gal- Galveston are so distinct and really, add a sense of like the sense of place in the film. Can you talk a bit about your scouting process and your location choices? Luckily, there are like so many beautiful Victorian homes in Galveston Mm -hmm. that we were able to kind of execute those, those wide shots. And then there are like just other places that were really significant to me. Like the last scene of the film, like I literally filmed a music video that starred Larissa there, you know, like there's a bench overlooking a pond that I went to like every day after school and high school. So I didn't go into it wanting to do this sentimental thing, <laughs> but it ended up becoming that. There are some scenes that are shot on, I guess it's like high eight, the kind of home movie style. Can you talk a little bit about your choices there? That was something that mm-hmm. we kind of came to at the last moment because we needed we needed like a narrative idea of like, what is Angie going through in this moment? There's one thought that is just hysterical of like Liam that you did that we ended up putting in the film. Like, I like, the one yes. He's like that, reading like, Camus. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> I remember made, that. I remember filming that. No, like that made that scene. Anyway. So that was like a happy, um, lucky thing that happened. Yeah. Emma, maybe you have a future behind the camera as well. I'm saying, where's my cinematography credit? I'm just saying. (laughs) Well, where can our audience see In Between Girl? You can see In Between Girl on Apple TV, uh, Utopia's platform, Altavod, and Prime Video. All right. Well, thank you both so much for joining us today. And uh, again, it's just such a great film. We're so glad it filmed here and to have you guys be some of our local... Texas filmmakers. So thanks again. Thank you so much. much.